Yeah, a many pendulum heart rhythms, but they can be divided into two classes. The first class is represented by sinus rhythm, and the second class is represented by many variants of various kinds of arrhythmias. I'll focus on the first class, pendulum sinus rhythm. This rhythm is also called embryocardia, and for good reason. In the prenatal period, in the process of intrauterine development, until the innervation of the heart is established, it has a pendulum rhythm. With the beginning of the innervation of the heart, the rhythm begins to fluctuate. The parameters that I will discuss next relate to the conditions of rest. The frequency of fluctuation in the sinus rhythm of a healthy heart is from 5 to 10 percent. A decrease in the frequency of sinus rhythm fluctuation means a deterioration in the innervation of the heart and therefore indicates serious problem with the health of the heart and the health of the whole organism. The most severe condition here occurs with Pendulum sinus rhythm. In fact, we are dealing with so-called denervation of the heart, i.e. with the conditions in which the heart was in the embryonic period of development I have indicated. Let me remind you that pendulum sinus rhythm, the rhythm of the fetal heart, indicates the fading of health resources with the approach of serious problems. What should be done? It's necessary to swing the frequency of the sinus rhythm of the heart. As how? I will answer with exercises with metronomized breathing as well as cyclic physical exercises in which the rhythm of breathing is metronomized. Ask why it help? I will answer because the respiration nuclei are located next to the nuclei of the vagus nerve, which plays a major role in providing fluctuations in the frequency of the sinus rhythm of the heart. What if these activities are not enough, you ask? I will answer that beta blockers that increase the frequency of sinus rhythm fluctuations can help. Ask me more in the comments below this video.